It starts in the deep blue. In the vast oceans that stretch beyond the horizon lies a secret, not of creatures or legends, but of metal. Gold. Trillions of dollars worth of gold, diluted and drifting in seawater, completely invisible to the naked eye. It's also hidden in the discarded gadgets we throw away each year, trapped inside printed circuit boards, never to be seen again. But what if I told you that a group of humble organisms, algae, might be the key to unlocking that gold? That they can trap it, accumulate it, and even help us recover it in ways that are affordable, sustainable, and surprisingly easy? In labs around the world, scientists are growing algae that can biosorb gold ions from water. And today, we're diving deep into how it works, the science behind it, and how you, a regular person with curiosity and caution, could begin experimenting with this at home, safely, naturally, and without needing complex equipment or dangerous substances. Let's begin with the science, the magic behind it. Gold, in its natural elemental form, is inert. But in water, whether seawater or from old electronic parts, it exists in an invisible, dissolved state, floating as tiny fragments called gold ions. The challenge is, these ions are extremely dilute. In seawater, that's about one gram of gold per 100 million liters of water. It sounds impossible to find, but nature has a few tricks. Algae don't need much. Their surfaces are filled with tiny reactive groups, natural biological features that can latch onto metals, almost like magnets. This process is called biosorption. Some algae even draw these particles inside their cells and bioaccumulate them, sometimes forming tiny natural clusters known as gold nanoparticles. That's right, algae making nano gold from water. Species like Chlorella vulgaris, Spirulina platensis, Cena desmus, and Euglena gracilis are among the champions. Some types of brown and red seaweeds like Sargassum and Gracilaria also show strong abilities to collect metals from water. So how can we use this at home? Let's break it down into a step-by-step, do-it-yourself gold biosorption project designed for regular people. We will explore two sources, seawater and household electronics but without using any harmful chemicals or industrial methods. Step one, gathering the algae. You'll first need algae that are capable of binding gold. There are two main ways. One, buy dried algae. Common health supplements like spirulina or chlorella can be found online or in health food stores. Make sure it's food grade and unprocessed. Two, grow your own. This takes more time, but is a rewarding experience. To grow algae at home, use a clean, clear container like a fish tank or large plastic bottle. Fill it with tap water and add a nutrient source, natural compost tea, pond water, or even blended vegetable peels that have fermented for a few days. Add a small starter, even a tiny pinch of spirulina or chlorella powder can do the job. Keep it near sunlight or under a basic grow light. Stir or shake daily to keep the algae growing. Within one to two weeks, you'll see the water turn bright green your algae are thriving. Step two, preparing the gold source. There are two safe and simple ways to get water that contains traces of gold. A, from seawater. If you live near the ocean, you can collect seawater directly. Let it sit for a day so sediment can settle, then pour off the clearer part. If you're inland, you can simulate seawater by mixing clean sea salt, sold for aquariums, into distilled water. This water will contain extremely low levels of gold, more symbolic than practical, but great for experimentation. B. From household electronics. Many old devices, phones, circuit boards, broken chargers contain trace amounts of gold in their connectors and contacts. Instead of breaking these down with harsh solutions, we'll try a soaking and rinsing method. Take a small collection of scrap electronics, like gold-plated USB heads or SIM cards, place them in a container with clean water. Gently agitate or soak them over several days, replacing the water daily. Over time, this will create a weak solution containing trace elements, including a very tiny amount of gold. This is where the magic of the algae begins. Step three, biosorption process. Take a portion of your algae, either from your homegrown tank or a handful of dried powder. Leave this mixture for 24 to 72 hours, gently stirring once or twice a day. During this time, the algae will bind gold particles from the water onto their surfaces or even absorb them inside. Watch carefully. You might see the algae darkening slightly in color. 
tiny shimmer or color changes if nanoparticles begin to form, a subtle shift in water clarity. Step 4. Harvesting the gold-loaded algae after the biosorption process. 1. Separate the algae. Use a coffee filter, a cloth strainer, or a fine mesh to filter out the algae from the water. 2. Dry the algae. Spread them on a tray or paper towel and leave them in a warm, dry place for a day or two. Once fully dried, they can be stored in a sealed container. They now contain tiny amounts of gold bound within them. 3. Visual confirmation. If you have access to a microscope, you might observe glitter-like particles or darker dots inside the algae. Step 5. What next? At this stage, your algae have collected gold. While you won't see large flakes or bars, you've successfully used a biological method to trap one of Earth's most valuable metals. If you're interested in going further, you can collect more algae biomass over time and create small biosorption batches. Use it as an educational project, a living demonstration of how nature can help solve industrial challenges. Share it with schools or community science clubs to inspire sustainable thinking. And if you collaborate with universities or research centers, they may help with the safe analysis and extraction steps using proper lab methods. But the key here is that you have done the hard part, harvesting gold using nothing more than water, time, and living organisms. Step six, safety, ethics, and the future. Everything we've covered can be done safely at home with no special gear and no dangerous substances. But remember to, Wash your hands thoroughly after handling algae and electronics. Never dispose of anything in local waterways. Keep it environmentally friendly. Start small, experiment, observe. This project isn't just about gold. It yes, about demonstrating the power of biology, how even the tiniest life forms can solve some of our biggest problems. Imagine a future where algae farms float off the coast, pulling not just carbon from the air, but metals from the sea. Imagine zero-waste recycling facilities where algae do the heavy lifting, cleaning water, and reclaiming valuable elements from our devices. Imagine a world where instead of mining mountains, we harvest microbes. That future is already underway. In research labs and pilot stations from Japan to Brazil, algae are being studied not just as food or fuel, but as tiny miners, as living filters, and as nature's own nanofactories. And now, in a small way, it's happening in your kitchen, your balcony, your backyard tank. With algae, the impossible becomes organic.